Hi, I'm Yasmin City Arts, a middle grade book illustrator, helping you with your art journey by showing you mine. So I decided that I was going to illustrate a book jacket and with the intention of including it into my portfolio. Even though I have my portfolio mainly complete, it's always good to put an update it and add include new pieces. So I attempt to add one every month or two in order to keep it updated and to have a record of my improving or changing in skill and style. So I figured I'd walk through all of the steps that go through planning and designing a book jacket. And today we're going to discuss the beginning and initial steps, the planning stage. Firstly, before putting any pen to paper or stylus to tablet, there needs to be a plan of going into it. What is the illustration for? Is it for a book cover? Is it for animation? Is it for a chapter opener? You have to understand what you're going to be illustrating it for because whatever you're going to use the illustration for, there's limitations that are involved. For instance, I know for sure I'm making a book jacket and as such there are limitations that I need to follow. There's obviously the dimensions of the page to focus on, but also depending on what colors I use based on is it going to be printed or not. In this case, I'm going to print off the book jacket and I'm going to use it to decorate my bullet journal that I'm working on. So I'm going to definitely print it myself. Also, knowing what the illustration is going to be about or be used for is definitely going to influence the character's design. For instance, the character can't be dressed too ornately if you're going to be drawing it for a comic book because then you'll have to redraw that comic, that same character wearing similar things over and over and over again. Especially for a beginning illustrator, it might not be such a great idea <laughs> to have to worry about those complex kinds of uh, clothing right away. That's an example of something to consider. Also, being able to know what the illustration is going to be used for also influences things like the composition, things like the designing of the characters, and stuff like that. Next, we'd have to think about the story of the characters, the story behind the illustrations. Before drawing or anything like that, or figuring out even the characters, we need to be able to read the story, to understand the characters, to understand the setting and the overall feel and mood and atmosphere of the book. Once we get a handle on asking the publishers, like, what is the mood? What is the feel behind the book? It's a lot easier to then find similar or like uh, atmospheric, light sources, all those kinds of things. In my particular book jacket that I'm trying to work on, I'm going to have mainly a solar punk theme on the front of the cover and then for more of the back cover I have more of a cyberpunk feel. These are two closely related but different in their value schemes so I have to make sure that the illustration reflects that. Every element of the illustration should reflect that. Also, I want to have a firm grasp of the personalities behind the characters that are going to be in the illustration. I'm going to understand how are the characters' personalities? Are they reserved? Are they happy-go-lucky? Are they mysterious? Are they kind? Are they mean? Are they shy? I need to keep a record of all that information before going on to the next step. After that, I want to collect information first that I can bring to the publisher, kind of like a mood board that I would show the publisher and be like, is this the kind of vibe we're looking for? Is this the kind of feeling? Is this the kind of light scheme that we're looking for? And get the publisher's insight first before then going on to further collect more resources along those lines. We're getting as much information and a framework as possible. Once I've read the book and I'll choose a couple of moments that might want to be portrayed or might want to be symbolically represented with the cover art. 
I'll choose a few scenes, a few environments, the main character, secondary characters that might want to be portrayed on the book if the publisher doesn't have a preliminary idea. Once I've settled on choosing a few of the potential scenes that could be chosen, I want to make a list of potential background characters on uh, props, on environments that I might want to grab and anything like that. And then we start collecting resources and putting them together. I want to find resources that are examples of different characters, of character shapes, of composition, of lighting, of poses, of clothing, and all those kinds of resources that I can put together to create more of a picture. So with that all in mind, I think about the book jacket that I want to design. So we have three characters that lived in the cyberpunk city and were feeling very oppressed. They have read and listened to stories about plants and trees and living in this cyberpunk world. They haven't had a chance to experience these things and have lived off these stories about this place called Greenhaven, where people work together as a group to make it and succeed and grow alongside plants. So after being in their own little hidden place and they decide to try to grow plants and are successful, but that is against the rules. And so they decide to take up all the plants and what they've been able to achieve and strike out and find this place that will take care of the plants and this ideal that they're trying to strive for and who they're trying to be. I have to also think not just as the characters are as characters, but also the environments and the props within those environments also count as potential characters. Maybe not in the maybe a direct sense, but in the fact that it also has their own kind of shape language, their own kind of attitude and ambience, the world that they come from, which is going to be on the back side. It's a cyberpunk world, so everything is very angular. Everything is very blues and neon lights, so really bright, harsh colors. And the robot's grungy kind of grittiness to the atmosphere. On the other hand, the front cover is more going to reflect solar punk kind of theme. So we're looking for more rounded, more lighter. The machinery is very more sleek and light and almost elegant, you could say. It's also heavily integrated with nature, so plants have to be a heavy theme. I'm thinking of making, adding a kind of element to the idea of like yin yang in there. I kind of want to sneak in the idea that they're two sides of the same coin. So I want to just definitely show that they, like where they fit. Not that's wrong. So those are all the ideas that I've put together. With all those thoughts in mind, tune in to next week, where we're going to go on to the next step of drawing our book jacket, which is character development. I hope you have a great rest of your week. And remember, one small step is a big leap forward. See you later.